Hello everyone. The world of chemistry is wonderful. It has given us the modern world, from the food we eat to the stink water we spray ourselves with to attract mates. So I'm pretty pleased with it. Everything is made out of chemicals. And I do mean everything. Anyway, I'd like to talk about some extreme chemicals I find quite fascinating. In this video, I want to talk about a chemical called thioacetone. And just like acetone, it doesn't smell nicely. But thioacetone cranks the unpleasantness dial up to ungodly levels. It's probably one of the smelliest chemicals humanity has had the displeasure of discovering. At least in the sulfur-containing compounds, there are selenium and tellurium analogues, but I won't get into those. Because thioacetone is so smelly, there isn't a lot of info on the compound. Because scientists are not rushing to study it, and to be honest, I don't blame them. Thioacetone falls into the thiol group. Thiols are sulfur analogues of alcohol. The name thiol comes from the Greek word thion, which means sulfur, and alcohol. But before you get any ideas, I should add that they are functionally very different. Nearly all thiols smell quite bad to us humans because they are sulfur containing compounds and we have evolved to detect them in very small amounts because most of them are released by rotting things and it's usually a good idea to avoid them. We put thiols into the gas mains going to our houses because natural gas is odorless and we wouldn't be able to detect a gas leak until it was too late. So thank you thiols, you disgustingly smelly helpers. In 2013 there was a thiol leak in France. The non-toxic gas cloud travelled all the way from the French factory more than 200 kilometres away to London and was still potent enough to prompt a flood of emergency calls to Britain's national grid. The smell was described as a mixture of sweat, garlic and rotten eggs. I'm sure there's a joke about the French there somewhere, but I'm stronger than that. Humans aren't the only ones who use thiols though. Skunks are probably the most famous ones in the animal kingdom. Coming back to thioacetone though, this one has the unglamorous title of being the king of thiols. Even if someone spills a stuff in your city, you're pretty likely to notice it because the smell travels very quickly. You can smell a drop of it almost instantly from hundreds of meters away. In a somewhat famous story in 1889, the residents of a German city of Freiburg had the displeasure of smelling the stuff. When scientists working on a bigger molecule called trithioacetone cracked it, producing thioacetone. The city folk were fainting and vomiting all over the place, and it led to the evacuation of the city. This wasn't the only time humanity came into contact with this compound though. In 1967, some researchers in Oxford also broke apart the trithioacetone molecule. During one experiment, a stopper popped off of one of the bottles containing the compound. It was immediately replaced, but it was already too late. There were almost immediate instances of nausea and sickness reported in a neighbouring building 180 metres away. I hope these examples show why no one wants to research it. But if you are curious enough and don't mind being cast away from society for smelling like death, then Godspeed my friend. Godspeed. That's all I have to say on the smelly world of thioacetone. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.